In the previous video, we talked about what happens in the brain when we learn something new. But what are some factors which make for better learning? Emotions New information that is paired with different emotions is more likely to be remembered than neutral events because of the increased attention, better memory encoding, and memory retrieval. That explains why highly emotional events like birth, celebrations, and death can become unforgettable. Research suggests that dopamine, the motivation and reward molecule in the brain, can be used to hijack learning by increasing attention spans. Oxytocin is the neurochemical responsible for empathy and trust. Behavioral studies show that oxytocin release in the brain makes people more trustworthy, generous, charitable, and compassionate. That is why it's also called the moral molecule and the love hormone. What we know is that oxytocin makes us more sensitive to social cues around us, and this emotional factor makes for better learning. Stress, on the other hand, is needed in moderate levels to keep the brain alert. Very low amounts of stress and arousal lead to boredom and inefficient learning, but negative emotions and too much stress release high cortisol levels and can impair learning and memory formation by hindering memory recall. Next time we're in an intercultural environment, let's connect to our emotions and observe how they affect our judgment of the situation and the memories we make. Story Associating new information with patterns found in the current memory and learning new things by connecting them to a story improves learning. A story taught as a whole before being separated in parts is recalled better. Memories are recalled better with context and as complete pictures. Once a story has sustained our attention long enough, we may also begin to emotionally connect with the characters, leading to an emotional response and better learning. When learning elements of a new culture, focus on the story behind them. Location and time. Associating information with a spatial and temporal context increases the likelihood of remembering it. Master memory competitors who have to memorize thousands of numbers in a short period of time often remember the numbers by imagining a story and connecting different numbers to different locations in that story. Exploring different locations helps us in learning new cultural elements. Sensory inputs Memory is strengthened by multiple sensory inputs. For example, if we both see and hear something, we're more likely to remember it than if we only hear it. Significant links are also shown between different smells and memory. Something to practice when learning a new language. Incorporate reading, listening, and speaking together. Breaks and sleep. Taking a break after learning something new increases the chances of you remembering it, since during rest and sleep, the brain consolidates new memories. All work and no rest is no way to go in an intercultural environment. Exercise and movement. When we move, we increase blood flow, oxygen, and glucose amounts in the brain. 30 minutes of physical activity during the day can induce neuroplasticity. This leads to higher perception and attention and improves learning and memory formation. Movement is not only connected to a healthy brain and body, but it's also been shown to increase the release of dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin. The good cocktail of neurotransmitters to have in an intercultural environment.